What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Linfield College and welcome to Maxwell Field. What's up, guys? So I'm currently sitting here in the middle of the stadium right now, one of the highest seats. Uh, in the stadium. And if I'm correct, these bleachers hold about 3,000 fans, as well as there's other removable bleachers that can be brought in and out depending on the events here at the stadium. I'm gonna give you guys just a little brief overview of what our field looks like. Starting over here, we got the Linfield Wildcat scoreboard. Uh, basically, it shows what the score is during games, uh, as well as it plays replays and whatnot. Um, we got a really, really cool scoreboard uh, for being a Division three school. Which, um, and as you guys can kind of see panning through the field, uh, it's a really beautiful sunny day here in McMinnville, Oregon in March, which is kind of rare. Uh, you got some students out here that are playing spike ball as well as some others that are just hanging out in the sun. This stadium is known also as the Cat Dome. Uh, and I know a lot of recruits when they come in, they think we have a stadium with a dome over it. There isn't actually a dome or anything. For a Division three program, we're pretty blessed to have a stadium like this. Another interesting thing here at Linfield College is instead of having designated box seats for fans, we have box seats for coaches as well as the broadcasters. Now we're gonna be taking you guys through and really breaking down the little specifics about our stadium. So uh, let's get right to it. All right guys, so this is the tunnel where we come out of for every single game. Yeah. And if you guys saw my recent video comparing the Division One locker room versus Division Three locker room, this is where the video was shot. Uh, we have one of our mantras here, which is, am I better today than I was yesterday? It's something that we kind of live by here at Linfield College, uh, as well as we have our pillars of success, team excellence, attitude, and class. The locker room is locked right now, or else uh, I would have gone in there and given you guys another little overview. Before I give you guys a full overview of the stadium, I'm gonna send you guys back to Kirko and see what he's up to while he's showing you guys his stadium. All right, what's good? Back at it again with my boy Venture Athlete. It's your boy Kirko, or Kirko Network, Kirko Grinds, whatever you want to call me. Uh, this time, we're in the stadium. All right, so today, we're talking about the stadium. Man, 101,000 people. Here come the Warriors. Drugs. We play at University of Texas in front of 100,000. The crowd noise can be deafening. This thing be rocking. Some top memories in the stadium. One being when Tyrone Swoops scored a touchdown right in that end zone. Big and powerful if they get their shoulders turned upfield and get some momentum behind them. Swoops dancing for the win! It was pretty live, you know, we broke the record of a uh, stadium attendance. It says it only fits 101,000, but I'm pretty sure they say we hit like 103,000 that day. Next good memory in this beautiful stadium is we have night games, of course, so they're on national TV, and this whole stadium was lit up. And when I say lit up, I mean, you know, how everyone has their iPhone, they put the flashlight on. Here, take a look at this video. Yeah, it was pretty sick. So I remember just standing right there and just looking out. Uh, we're winning the game, of course. Man, it was a great feeling. And like the whole stadium just lit up at night. It was lit. So th those are my two favorite memories. Man, I love this school. So blessed to be here. And thank you guys again for showing all the love to me and Adventure Athletes videos. It's been lit. You guys have been just enjoying them. I've been enjoying making them. Uh, my boy Adventure Athletes is a stud. I love the dude. That's my boy for real. He's gonna be at my wedding. So on our stadium, we have a bunch of dedications to different people and different things. One, national champions. So right there is um, the uh, national champions. So we have 63, 69, 70, and 05. 05 was lit. That's when we won USC. Texas has defeated. Darryl K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium right up there. Then Big 12 Championships. And that's why like every time we work out, like summer workouts, winter workouts, 
right when I walk out the tunnel, I take a look up there because that's the that's the goal. That's the big goal. First, I want to put numbers right there. Then if you put numbers right there, conference championship, you have a pretty good chance to put some numbers on the national championship board, which is the bigger goal. Anyways, all goals aside, this is about this beautiful stadium right here. We got the opposing team. They sit right there. Our home bench is right here behind all our faithful fans. The band is going to be sitting right there. <laughs> Student section right there. We have another student section right here when we come out the tunnel. Man, what a big, big Megatron. Let's actually head over that way. All right guys, so as you guys can see behind me, we have the Linfield Wildcats scoreboard. Uh, we obviously have an area where it tells the score during games as well as there's two spots where they can put replays during games. Uh, it's super cool that we're really fortunate to have this style of scoreboard, especially for being a Division III school. As well as you guys can see around the scoreboard are all these replaceable bleachers. During the playoffs as well as during season, we get a chance to bring more bleachers in so we can try to pack this whole stadium out. All right guys, so as you guys can see behind me right now, there's a lot of people that are out here on the field enjoying themselves on a sunny day, which is kind of rare in March here in McMinnville, Oregon. Right behind me, there's this high jumping mat. During the fall, there's usually a big bleacher section in here and this is where our student section is. best seats in the house are right here next to this reserve sign post. That's where my parents sit so they get a chance to see the whole field. Uh, so yeah, if you guys ever come to a game, the best seats, try to get reserved right there by Pillar C. If you guys get a chance to check out our games during the fall, they're not on TV, they're actually streamed online. So you guys will get a chance to see that. As well as you guys wanna come catch a game, feel free to fly out to uh, McMinnville, Oregon. Right here in the south end zone, as you guys can see here, we have the Wildcats uh, all throughout the end zone, which is pretty dope. Uh, and it's got that purple aesthetic as well. And now I'm gonna head to the middle of the field and show you guys what it's like on the 50 yard line. All right guys, so right now I'm currently standing here on the 50 yard line. As you guys can see, there's an L, which is on the 50. Uh, during game days, our team is always on that side of the field. And our opponent's always on this side of the field. And now I'm gonna be giving you guys a full 360 degree view on nice. what the field's like from the 50 yard line. All right, guys, now we're going to send it back to Kirko and see what he's up to while he's showing you guys his stadium. So right here is where we walk out. Uh, it's pretty lit. So we have people standing across all this area right here. We run out. Fog comes out. Go with no love. It gets pretty crazy. You know, we sit right here, turn up. Huddled up. Uh, wait for them to uh, announce us to go out, and it's lit. And here come the So this is the tunnel we walk out of. Then during the games, there's a cannon right here. And so there's this little group on campus, um, can't remember if it's the Spurs, Cowboys, whatever, but they have a cannon set up. So every time we score any points, end the quarter and win the game, boom, <laughs> goes off right here. It's, yeah, it's freaking lit, bro. It's one of my favorite things, you know what I'm saying? Also, just posted a meal prep video. Uh, so those of you looking to uh, change your diet up in order to get big, like I always talk about on my channel, check that video out. Okay, then where our mascot sits. So our mascot is Bevo. I'm sure you see him, the big bull with the horns. <laughs> Never for oh, 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 oh my lord! Oh, Bevo! <laughs> oh, Bevo just kicks it here during the games. Watch us turn up in front of 105, 106,000 people. So that's lit. One more cool thing, you feel me? Big old Megatron, you know what I'm saying? So like, everything plays right there. Maybe probably one of the bigger differences between my field and Clark's. Actually, there's probably a lot of differences. Not knocking D3, do what you gotta do. And um, that's one thing you gotta remember, it's all football, you know what I'm saying? So at the core, you're not gonna be having fun, you're not gonna be enjoying yourself if you don't really love football. Yeah, so just imagine running out this thing, all these people roaring, crowd going wild, it's lit. Oh, touchdowns, like I said, boom, the cannon goes off. Stays pretty lit, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so then, not only that, so if it's 106,000 people, then we have like box seats. Ah, 
I'm not gonna walk up all the steps. There's a lot of steps. I'm gonna just, this is a kind of a quick overview, a little cool comparison we're doing. All right, guys, thank you. Hold on, before I say goodbye, my roommate just pulled up on me. What's up, y'all? Patty Bud 977 over here. Right, let me hear that, let me hear that engine. <laughs> Yes, sir. What up, baby? Yeah, baby? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed to me or Adventure Athlete, make sure to subscribe right now. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And uh, thanks for watching. The big boys are getting work out here right now. Wow. You show me, show me one drill. You kind of look like you're like an apple. You have your left hand down instead of right? He's on the left hand. Oh, okay, okay. I put that right here. Are we getting this on camera right now? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Alright, guys, the linemen are showing me how to do a lineman stance. Is that right? Yep. You gotta have your eyes up so you can see. Yeah. Is this three step? I mean, this three point stance is good. I'm not wearing those. What's up? What you're going back to? Is that step? Is that step? Yeah. Step tracks. These are already full. When they're walking, how to defeat them? Drag your back foot. There you go. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is. These are the big boys here on campus. Big shout out to the old linemen for protecting me oh. and uh we're gonna let them get back to work now so uh keep working boys all right i'll plug all you guys on the vlog and get all the little instagram tags right here all right guys so that's it for the division one versus division three college football stadium comparison video make sure you guys do me a favor and go subscribe to kirko's youtube channel linked right up here and uh thank you guys for all the support thus far that you've shown us uh, these videos are really popping off throughout this comparison series and uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you guys have any ideas on what other videos you guys would like to see us do, feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, with that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.